This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How you all doing? I'm doing good. Listening to the birds chirping. I guess they're going to try to outwork the cicadas. I'm so tired of those bugs, you all. I think we at the end of the road. I pray, I pray, I pray. They've been harassing us here in Illinois. <laughs> Part of God's creation. I know I shouldn't be complaining. I don't even know what to title this one. My God, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. I, I want to say how to get what you want, but that's not really per se what I'm talking about, but I am in a roundabout kind of way. Just stay with me. This is going to be motivation. What I'm talking about is going to be something to help you really get to where you need to be, but you got to start at this point to get to where you need to be. Just stay with me. I think you're going to like it. So you all know that follow me. Y'all know my story. Ooh, how many times I'm talking about, it. but, um, Long story short, I had some medical stuff done in October. Part of my breast cancer journey, it wasn't cancer, but some repairing had to be done. So um, I had part two of the procedure done May 29th. I'm doing well. So I go back for my follow-up appointment a few days ago. I tend to take a lift downtown. I park so far and jump in a lift. I hate being by the parking and I just don't like driving downtown that much no more. I will sometimes here and there. Anyway, so in the lift, one lady was spiritual or whatever, you know, the driver. I enjoy her talking with her. We had some good talks and she was listening to a podcast, but it was a real pleasant ride. So as I'm driving, where well, as I'm riding, which is good to ride because you can look better versus driving, I'm seeing People in tents, which I see when I do get to go to the city in certain areas. I'm seeing immigrants. And when I was in the hospital or the clinic, you know, I go to like a hospital, like part of a hospital. It's kind of down the street, across the street. So I'm seeing people coming out on walkers. And um, one lady was blind or legally blind. She was in a wheelchair. She asked me to ask the front desk person to help her go to the washroom. And I'm just watching all of this before I say all this stuff. Please hit like, subscribe. You can share this for motivation. Thank you all for all your support. And so I'm just taking in the tent, the homelessness, the immigrants, the people on walkers, the lady in the wheelchair that's blind. And I start thinking about myself. Oh my girl, you got it going on. I want to talk to you all today. Let's do a sur survey or survey or just do a surveillance of your home. And I know people probably get on my channel like, what's she talking about? But this is where you will be blessed. This is how you'll be blessed. And don't do it to be blessed, but this is how you can be at peace or find joy. We take too much for granted here in the United States. We have hot running water. I'm about to take a shower. I say that so fast. I am about to take a shower and I'm going to have nice hot running water. I have an air conditioner blowing out great air today. It's going to, it's going to be in the 80s. Is hidden the 90s, Sunday, Monday, or one of these days. And I have an air conditioner, central air blowing in my apartment. When I get in my truck, I have air. I have a nice truck. I do. I have a nice place to live. I have clothes that have tags on them. I don't even wear shoes. I never wore. And I have a, a bag of stuff to give away which I need to take it with me today, to be honest with you, and give it away. What about you? And before I have all of that, I have a healthy body where I take every day a D3, two B12s, and a probiotic and a multivitamin, and that's my medication. When you have your health, 
that is your wealth. And again, people talk about getting the bag and going to Dubai. And I want a man with six figures. He got to be six feet and the credit score. But if you don't have your health, you do not have wealth. And that's what we have to remember. I've been reading over these last few days how the job market is not at its best. There are some people saying they have been looking for six months and some people saying it's going on a year and they cannot find a job. And, you know, we got to be grateful. And I know some of these jobs, they're not the best. You're not the best. But make the best of it if you can. Now, if it's affecting your mental health, Alpha MLA, get you some days off. Go get you a therapist. Go to your doctor. Say you're stressed out. And here and there, take a day off when your stress or anxiety kicks up. Protect yourself. But if you need extra money and your job is okay and they're offering overtime, try to take advantage of it if you can. I never was a big overtime person. But look, now I'm working two jobs, so same difference. But I just want you to be grateful. That's really what this podcast about today is about being grateful for what you got. Be thankful for what you got. My late mom, Dorothy Walker, she played music all throughout our house. That's why I'm into music to this day. And that's a song you may not have. Uh, I think he said a fancy Cadillac. And somebody said, Diamonds in the back. But he was saying, be, I think it's be thankful for what you got. It's a good song. It's from the 70s. And that song makes a lot of sense. You got to be thankful. You can go buy you a fancy car. The dealerships are full of them. You can have a house, you all. You can have a condo, town home. You can start your own business. This is the time. Ladies, this is the time for entrepreneurship. I see people starting skincare lines, hair care lines. They're doing essential oils. They're making clothes, makeup, lip gloss. This is it. Whatever you want to do. The music business. You don't have to have those big labels no more. You could do your own thing, independent labels, Spotify. Look at me. I do a podcast. I use an app. It costs me 30 some bucks a month. That's why I try to use it too, because I'm paying for this. But like right now, I have my bathrobe. I didn't get to do my hair yet, because I'm ready to jump in the shower and get ready for work. But this allows me to reach you all, you know, without getting on camera. Although I got to do some videos on camera. Hopefully, um, Later today and tomorrow, maybe I can record some stuff. But yeah, you can have what you want, but it has to start with what you have. Be grateful. See the, see the best in things, not the worst. Riding in the lift back. The lift ride. This guy was trying to talk to me. Not interested. You know, I'm just trying to get home, man. That's where I'm at at this point. Wasn't interested, not my type anyway. And that's all fine and dandy. And so he was talking about uh, love or everybody always wondering if you have kids or if you're married, all that stuff. And I was like, well, at this age, I'm just letting it happen. Well, you should always never give up on love. Okay, sir, that I don't know. I never said I gave up on love. I don't even know you, but you're putting words in my mouth. I won't never give up on love until I take my last breath. I still won't. I won't give up on love. I'll never. That's just not who I am. Love is what just got me out the bed. Hope. I, I live on hope. I have hope. When I put my feet on the floor, when God wakes me up, there is hope for a, a better day today. And that's how I move throughout my life. Hope is what kept me alive on days when I was so depressed back in 0102. Couldn't digest my food. Hope and love is what kept me alive when we lost my dad suddenly. 
And I was down and out for years and people mocked me and laughed at me. She weak. I was called weak. It's okay. I forgive you. Hope is what kept me going, fighting cancer twice. And love. I'll never give up on love. Love. God is love. And I believe in God. So I'll never give up on love. Ever. Love is what makes me do these videos. There was times when I was depressed. It's sometimes I don't feel that great. And I still create a video for you. Because I know my life, my gifts, my talents, they're helping somebody. Me being a small YouTuber is going to help somebody else start their channel. Me beating cancer is helping somebody with lupus, helping somebody with depression. Me being a therapist, me being a social worker is helping somebody else go back to school later in life and do what they want to do. So we all have to, we all have a story to tell. And I know some people, they get envious and they'll be like, it must be nice or they're so lucky. You have a story to tell. You have a story to tell. You have a story to tell. Your story is not my story. What you went through is different. And trust me, your story will reach someone. So that's why I don't understand jealousy. I don't understand envy. Why do people do that? Why do people do that? Because the path I have to walk, you don't want, you don't want to do this. I don't want to do your walk. Maybe I, I wouldn't have been good with two and three kids. Maybe I wouldn't have been good doing something you're doing. God has us where we need to be, to be where we need to be for somebody else. You had to be their mom. You had to be their dad. You had to be in that country. You had to live where you live. Everything happens for a reason. I truly believe that. I really, really, really do. So don't waste your time comparing yourself to somebody else. Be grateful for what you've got. People always have something to say, though, regardless. If you're married, they're going to ask you about that. If you have kids, they'll ask about that. If you don't have kids, now they're trying to figure out why you don't. And when you're single, you're the whole topic of the conversation. They're trying to figure you out. Why are you single? What's wrong with you? You're attractive. You should do this. You should do that. You should be quiet because you don't know what my story is. And right now, you all being single is a blessing for me. For right now, for the next few months, maybe. Maybe by the Christmas, I'll have a whole new tune. But I'm trying to get my business going, and I need to concentrate. I got clients busting out the seams. I'm not bragging. I'm just being honest. And here come them couples. The married couples love me. And guess what? I used to run from counseling married couples. This is hard. Two people. They bickering. You're trying to help them out, be neutral. You see, you really see what's going on. But as a therapist, I can't pick sides. And trust me, I'm not going to ride with the woman all the time. Don't think that because sometimes our approach is wrong. But it's hard being a therapist or a counselor for married couples or couples, period. But guess what? Now I'm starting to enjoy it. Why? I've been doing it. Really good now for four years. Real good. Good, good. COVID whipped me into shape. I have my materials now. I know how to be, you know, neutral, non-biased. I know how to keep it respectful. Couples love me. I love my couples. I love doing couples now. And that's what I, I just got some more this week. Two new couples. But it's a blessing because I just told you all, they're saying, people saying they can't find a job. I got two good jobs. Two. You got to be thankful for what you got. You got to look at your own life and work it. What can you do now to make your tomorrow better? What can you do now to move one step closer to that bachelor's degree? Maybe you have enough credits for an associate's. Bump it on up and get, go get your bachelor's. They have so many programs now. And look into free education or grants and all, look into everything. What can you do to start your skincare line? What can you do to start that lip gloss line? Your clothing, your music. I know you're a poet. You bake good cakes. Whatever you can do 
do it. Do it. Don't don't keep complaining. This is what I see the most. Complain. I, you know, things just don't never go good for me. When you think like that, that's exactly what you're going to get. Everything always go wrong for me, but everybody else, they got it easy. That's a damn lie. Why, why even speak untruths? Everybody don't have it easy. You don't talk to everybody. You don't know the hell somebody have to go through. Look at me right now trying to get my clinical license. It's hung up in the system since May 1st. I want to start my practice. What do they tell me? Check back July 1st. I don't think that's going easy for me. But what can I do? I can't. I can drive to Springfield. I'm not going to make them give me my clinical license. I just have to wait. But guess what? It's happening for a reason. Because I probably don't need it just yet. I got some other stuff I could be working on in the meanwhile. The words you say will determine your future. Oh, I'm not. I'm probably never going to get married. It's not any good men out here. All these women. They, they, you know, they don't never listen. They never admit they're wrong. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say all, but I am noticing some women are not admitting their faults. They always blame the guy. And some guys always blame the lady. Is it that important to be right? Or do you want to reach a resolution? I was told that. In therapy in 1998, on nights and one of them years, my therapist told me in the 90s, or maybe maybe by 2000 something. Is it that important to be right as a in your when you're in a relationship? Are you going to be always right and they're always wrong? Think about what you're saying. Sometimes it's both. Sometimes it's one. It's somebody, but what do you want to reach a resolution? Sometimes you wonder. A partnership, a couple, marriage, you should be a team. You shouldn't oppose each other. You should uplift each other. That lady should make you smile. That man should make you smile. And when you're not smiling no more, you're not having fun no more. And when you're not having fun, what are you doing in a relationship? What are you doing? I'm sorry, you all. I'm not going to be miserable at a job. I'm not going to be miserable with my man. I'm not going to be miserable in my home. It's not going to be perfect, but it's got to be better than that. It's got to be better than that. I work too hard on my mental health. I can't wait till my therapist come back from having her, her, or she's on maternity leave. (laughs) She needs to spend time with the baby. I need to calm down. And that's another thing. I don't have any patience sometimes. I want, I want things to work out. In my timing. And that's not how life goes. We got to enjoy the ride. Tammy, enjoy the ride. I'm talking to myself now. You you didn't start your practice yet. It's okay because when it starts, then you're going to be complaining about how busy you are. You know, sometimes we need to bloom where we are and enjoy where we are. Everything going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. But start where you are, look around your house, look around your apartment, and be ye grateful. And if it's not what you want, write it down. What steps can you take that will get you to where you need to be? But it's got to start with being grateful for what you got. That's the key to life. Is really is really simple. Be grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you for today. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for life. It could be worse. It was worse for me. Start there and watch how your life changes and watch the words that come out of your mouth. Don't speak negativity. You, you're going to get more of it. I hate to hear when people say I'm broke or um, what else could go wrong. Oh, don't. I never say that. Oh, no, 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 no. Because you say that, here come an army of trouble. Don't say what else could go wrong. What else can go right? Oh, I can't believe that happened today. 
I'm looking for some more stuff. That's what I'll say. Oh, today was a good day. I can't believe this happened. And I'll notice like it'll be two or three things in one day. Good. That happens. Good. When I had my procedure May 29th, a dear friend, she texted me $200 on a DoorDash card. Now, who does that? I was just so grateful. I got meals and meals off of that DoorDash card. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff you want to see. Somebody just send you random flowers. I have a friend, she'll do that. Just send me a bouquet of flowers. And then she hasn't been feeling well, so I sent her a self-care package. And Amazon has the cutest self-care package. Under $40, it comes with socks, a mask for your, you know, when you go to sleep, a candle, a a bracelet, um, some little self-care cards. It has some more stuff. I think a mug. Isn't that nice for forty some dollars? She said she then she sent me the picture of it. She was so happy. She was so happy. It's the little things we could do. Spread some love, you all. Spread some joy. And be grateful for what you got. I'm gonna get on out of here so I can get to this office. Have a great day. Tammy C. Walker signing off. Bye-bye.